All right, this is a little video on uh, on LED light bars. Um, I think you've all seen me uh, use these uh, light bars that I that I made a little PC board for. They're just LEDs with pull up resistors or pull down resistors actually, and then you can um, display the state of a signal. If it's high, the LED is on. If it's low, the LED is off. And so. Um, until recently, you couldn't buy these um, made by somebody else. Well, I shouldn't say that. So I'm going to show you a bunch of LEDs that you can get online um, and not have to build your own if you don't want to. Um, so I'll show you what's available uh, that I've found, and uh, then we can go from there. Uh, so this is a little uh, uh, state machine counter. Um, it's just a 4-bit counter right now. Um, and, uh, like I said, the ground is hooked up to ground, and then whatever state the lines are, that's, that's how the LED works. Um, let's go to a different part of the actual, uh, breadboard over here. Let's see if I can get that more framed better. It's this little area over here. And the way I have it set up is, um, is I have a little section here, and these are 10k pull-ups, I believe, these uh, single inline packages. So every single line has a pull-up, and then you can kind of probe around on it with, uh, this is hooked to ground, so uh, you can kind of probe around and see what happens when you uh, hit certain certain lines, and then there's always a pull-up resistor. So, so this is an RGB LED, um, uh, green, uh, red and blue, so these are all in one package, so three lines there, and they're uh, low true, so you have to pull them down low. Um, let me uh, let me take this out and put in uh, put in one of these that I've uh, that I've built. Um, let's see here. Uh, kind of sharp on the hands, so we'll put that in. And um, you can see here when I put the ground to the ground pin, then the, they all light up. Uh, well, they should all light up. There we go. Uh, hmm. And these two aren't lighting up. Don't know why. Anyway, but you can see that um, no matter where there's a... Uh, a oh, I know this... Uh, this sip over here isn't wired up, so we have to come over. We have to come over one. There we go. So plug it in here. Ow, ow, ow. And uh, now, when we hook up the ground, um, nothing happens. Great. Oh, that's the wrong ground. This is the ground wire. Uh, there we go. So we get all get all eight lines. Um, so that's the way that one works. Um, so, let me show you things that I've found online. So if you go on eBay and look for, a, they're, they're, they're called different things, they're called light bars, different type of things. Um, you can find this little one, um, and it is a f one, two, three, four, five, six, there's six LEDs here, and there's a ground pin. So once again, let's stick it in the board. Let's stick it in over here. And um, see what happens when we hook up the ground pin. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six. So there's six, six LEDs. So if, you, if they're uh, high, then they, uh, then they uh, are on. And there are different versions of this particular um, board. Uh, this is the blue, the blue only. And let me find a different one here. Yeah, let's go with this one. Let's see how we can do with it. Um, and when we turn it on, uh, it's multicolor. So it's red, orange, yellow. Green, blue, and white. Um, so that's kind of cool. Uh, if you like that, 
All right. And um, that is basically everything you can get on eBay until recently. Um, and there's been a new edition on eBay. Um, and they're not that common, but you can find them. And it's this one. Um, and this one, we will go here. Put in the things. Okay, now this one, it's uh, low true logic, unfortunately. So, but it has eight LEDs. So that's the big new thing. You can actually get um, something like this LED light bar with eight LEDs now, which you couldn't in the past. So let's hook up. Uh, let's hook up VCC on. Uh, on its pin, and now uh, we will need to individually uh, turn on these LEDs. So uh, let's see, why is that not working? Why is that not working? Hmm, interesting. I don't know. Uh, let's see. VCC. Ah, very interesting. Oh, I forgot to turn the power on. <laughs> Uh, that would do it. All right. All right. So uh, there's a green, green, blue, blue, yellow, yellow, red, red. So red, red, yellow, yellow, blue, blue, green, green. Don't know why, but that's what it is. So it's it's only. Right now, I, I can tell you it's only available in multicolor. I haven't seen anyone that has a, a, all the same color. Um, and it's constructed with these little uh, uh, pull-up areas. Um, and like I said, it's, it is low true logic. So they are pull-ups, and then you have to pull them down to turn them on. So that's a bit disappointing, too. Um, but they are at least in, in a, an eight-wide eight version. And let me show you one more. The power off, so remember to turn the power on next time. Um, all right, the very first one I saw was this one, and this one was only available on Tindy. Um, I don't remember, well, let's see, it's got their name on it here. Let me see if I can read their name with a magnifying glass here. It says Adam Soft Tech, A T O M Soft Tech, T E C K, uh, T E C H. Uh, it's called Teeny LED Times 8. And so the way that this one is designed is it uh, is to be used with the common uh, grabbing the um, pins uh, on the uh, uh, row of the... Uh, per oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that, can you? Oops. <laughs> okay, so I put it in here, and there's two rows of uh, pins. I put this row in um, in um, the common uh, is uh, hooked up to ground, and now when I take a let's see here, let me find a nice long long wire to use. Uh, this is going to require it's it's ground, so it's going to require pluses. So again, it's true logic, which is nice. So high would uh, turn it on and uh, low would turn it off. So uh, they're all green, they're all the same color, uh, but it is a sip. It's, it's a dip, it's not a sip. Um, but it's nice if you like to, if you like to have that uh, orientation. Um, let me show you a little bit more about it. Um, uh, they built it kind of crazy too. The, there's a uh, surface mount parts on the top and the bottom, which isn't an easy thing to do. Um, but all of the uh, pull-down resistors are on the bottom side of the board, and then all the LEDs are on the top side of the board. So anyway, that's available on Tindy. You go look there. I think they ha this particular company has a variety of cute little things. Um, I think they started up building things like this, which are individual LEDs with a VCC on one side and a ground on the other, uh, to and they're uh, a kind of a dip, uh, dip. They're like a four-pin dip, and they go into a perf board. 
So you can take a, uh, let's see here, let's do it. You can take a, uh, a VCC line and plug it in and then any ground line uh, that you have available. Uh, it turns the LED, turns the LED on, hopefully. Hmm. Let's see here, this is plus, and this is plus, oh, it's not working. Um, oh, I see, I was over, I think I was over one. No? Hmm. Oh, this, is, oh, this isn't ground, sorry. My yellow wire was not ground. And so you can see, uh, there we go. Uh, get it in the frame here, hopefully in focus. Um, no, it's not really in the focus, is it? Let me see if I can't, if I can't fix that, there we go. Okay, so, um, yeah. Uh, so they're, they're individual LEDs, um, they're kind of cute. Um, let's see, what other things do I have to share? Um, you could try to make a longer one. Uh, here's 16 LEDs. Um, and these are all hooked up. They're not, it was made for a different board. I'll show you that board in a second. It was made for a different board, um, but it gives you uh, 16 LEDs in a row. It was actually made for, uh, for testing. Um, here's the board that it was made for testing with. Um, it had, um, a couple circuits that I was trying out. We've seen this one before. I used, this is the, the one that you chop off and you have an Arduino project board. And over here you have a uh, tiny 84, 85, 80, tiny 85, tiny 85 uh, microprocessor, microcontroller. And then I had a couple other boards that I was playing with. Um, this particular board was a, um, a shift register, so it was a HC595 and an HC595. So you just sent serial data, and you could shift serial data into the um, into the device. Let me see if I can hook it up here and get it to do something. Uh, there we go. It's shifting in random bits and uh, shifting them down. Um, so again, it was uh, just a trial run for me to start playing with uh, 595 to, ex to expand the digital I.O. capabilities of Arduinos. Um, and so it had uh, these 16 LEDs on it. So that's how I, that's how I was able to uh, chop it out and, and get this board. Um, but anyway, there you go. Lots of LEDs, lots of things to choose from. Build your own. Buy some. 6-bit, 8-bit, multicolor, single color. Um, positive true, ne uh, negative true, um, yeah, lots to choose from. Yeah, we'll go out with it in a focus. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.